Hey, what's up guys? John here with Rocket Stock, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fluid animation. Let's get started. So I use this effect in the zine trailer that I made for Shutterstock. You can check it out right there. And it made the video feel a lot more fun, a lot more dynamic, and even more vibrant. And the good thing about it is, is that this effect is not that hard to replicate. So if you're new to After Effects, this is not going to be a daunting animation that you're going to have to stay up all night and try to figure out. Let's hop into After Effects and I'll show it to you. So in After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 is okay. So we're going to create a new solid. And the color of it does not matter because we're going to be able to change it later on. So just hit OK. And we're going to come over to our effects panel and type in CC Mr. Mercury. And just drag that right on there. So right now all you have is a blob and it does not do anything at all. To change that, we're going to come to our pen tool and just draw any path that you want. I find that an S curve works best and that works fine for me. And so we're going to hit this drop down arrow, contents, shape one, path, and the path is highlighted. So we're going to copy that and you can close all of this. Open up the solid, just hit on this drop arrow, effects, CC Mr. Mercury. And this is where you're going to place that path. So drag your time indicator to zero and highlight the producer and paste it there. So you're going to see these keyframes pop up. And when I hit play, this is what happens. So now that we got some direction, we can edit the actual effect. So go over to your effects control panel and change your radius X to zero, radius Y to zero. Your velocity could stay at one and the birth rate, um, put that at four. Uh, your longevity, put that at one, gravity zero, resistance can stay at zero, extra could stay at one. And your animation, most of these work um, but my favorite is the fire one. Uh, Bob Influence, I kind of recommend at from 5 to 15%. So we're going to put it at 5 just to see what it does for right now. And Influence Map, I recommend Blob Out. And your birth size should always be bigger than your death size. So we're going to change the death size to 0. And for right now, put the birth size to 0.3. So let's take a look at that. So we already got the basic effect and now we could stylize it a little bit. I'm going to go over to effects and presets and type in fill and I'm going to drag that onto our solid and I'm going to pick a mint green color. So that works right there. And then I'm going to close this and add another solid on the background. So just so we can see it better and put about a gray color there and hit OK. And I'm going to drag that under our black solid and drag our time indicator to zero. So let's play that. So the effect is starting to look super cool. So I'm going to go over to the effects and presets and apply a glow. And I'm going to drag that over here to my solid. And I'm going to increase the radius to around 500. So keep going, keep going, keep going. And I think around there should be good and our glow intensity to 0.4. So let's see how that looks. So now that we got the whole effect set up, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this with real life footage. So let's go over to the project panel and I'm gonna drag in my clip. So what I wanted to do with this footage is animate the effect in from the right side and have it go between his phone and his face and then exit left. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to drag our time indicator over here and put our footage down into the timeline. So for the first step, we're going to duplicate this clip, then drag it above the solid and go over to the top and select the pen tool because we're going to be masking out his phone and his hands. Um, I'm going to start at the top and work my way around. So we're just going to close up the loop right here and zoom back out. 
I'm gonna fit this. So what you're gonna do is click this drop down arrow and click mask, mask one, and we're gonna right click on that and track the mask. So this little window is gonna pop up over here and all you have to do is hit this play button. And what that's gonna do is track everything within that mask. It's obviously not gonna be perfect. We're gonna have to go frame by frame and fix it. But once it hits five seconds, I'm gonna stop it. So we're gonna stop right there. And so now you can see all these keyframes and the mask is moving with the video. It's not the best, but if you already see it, most of the work is already done for us. And it looks pretty good so far. So we'll zoom in and go frame by frame. And go start on this side. And I'm, I'm using the shortcut command right arrow to scrub through. Um, let's go a little lower. So that actually is looking really good already. And on that side, I believe we're okay. And on this side, that looks good as well. So I think we might be done with that part already. So we're gonna center this again. And another thing that we can do to make this even a little better, but it might not work in this case since it's already pretty flush, we could apply a feather to the mask of about maybe three. And what this does is that it makes this not so harsh, so it's not an immediate cutoff on the effect. So it kind of just blends a little bit better. So I'll show you. So this is three right now. And when I turn it up, it just, it kind of, the higher you go, the less existent the mask gets. So if you have it a little bit above zero, that really looks more natural. And let's see how that looks. That honestly looks really good. So what we can do to make this a little bit more realistic is that since his phone is not completely in focus, it's on his face, we can apply a little camera blur to the animation, a real subtle lens blur so that it seems that the camera has the animation out of focus, but we don't wanna to apply too much because then it's gonna throw everything off. So we can set this at around two. And I think that would be good. This is without, this is with. And that's looking really cool. The hues like coming off his jacket and everything. Yeah, that looks real good. So that's basically it for this animation. It was only about four to five layers in one simple mask. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys felt inspired by it. Go out and use it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a thumbs up. We'll see you guys later. Oh,